Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Rider. We're back with another episode of the Boogeyman for some reason. Um, I was not sure how to uh, to deal with this before. But apparently you have to abandon these people. Since we're above and you have to move the table. Whoa! Well, are you gonna lift Richard up and drop Sophie? You really sure? If the spikes break the table, she won't be hurt. Let's go. We gotta tell Sophie what we're doing so she doesn't flip out. There's a room full of spikes down the hole. The man you thought went down there is nowhere to be seen. Lance, pull the lever when I say pull. That's not the right voice. Lance, pull the lever when I say pull. Finally, he's doing something. Sophie, I'm gonna lift Richard and drop you. No, Keith, drop me, please. Don't put my dear daughter in danger. Quiet. Sophie, don't look down, okay? You'll be fine if you don't look down. You with me? No funny stuff. Don't cry. Don't cry, Sophie. I won't let you die. I won't even let you get hurt. I promise. So believe me. And just don't move. Can you promise me that? Uh, okay. That's a good girl. Lance, you ready? Yeah. Pull. Hey. Jeez, a lot of screaming happened. Yay! Sophie's alive. Mr. Keith, are you okay, Mr. Keith? Mr. Keith. Oh, I fell with her? How about you? Oh, he jumped and caught her. I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me, but you, Mr. Keith. Glad to hear it. Sorry, little lady, but could you move it? Feels like I'm going to be crushed to death. Are you calling me fat? Papa! Sof Sophie! Oh, Sophie, I'm so glad you're safe. Papa, Papa, it was so scary. Hey, you okay? I had no idea you were gonna... Lance, how's my head look? Huh? Those spikes really grazed it. wonder if they sheared my hair. Did I go bald? <laughs> Don't worry. It's still plenty fluffy. Keith, I'm s Keith, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for saving my daughter. Let's take this elsewhere. Come with me. Oh, and scene change. Lance, how are those wounds? Are you still hurting? Damn right I am, but I guess it's a little better now. No weird traps in this room. No windows either. Just the one door in or out. Shouldn't have to worry about that guy ambushing you. I'll go look for the others, so you stay here. Don't leave this room under any circumstances. K Keith, will you be all right? Better than I'd be dragging around a wounded man and a family. All right. Hey! What? Didn't I just tell you to stay in there? What you said before. Whatever it was about civil liberties groups. Did I say anything like that? Don't play dumb, you... What do you know? You trying to threaten me? I felt bad for the girl, no doubt. But you went about it all wrong. Sorry, but I just can't approve of that. What? It's your policy not to photograph people. Not quite accurate, is it? It's not that you won't, you can't, since you don't listen to what you're told. You don't love scenery, you just hate people. What, what, how do you, why do you know that? I didn't say anything about that. You researched? You got your eye on me? Aren't you just some cop? You're not state. How the hell? A and that other guy talked like he knew, too. What the hell is this? What do you guys know? Keith, who's Keith? Done talking. Who's Lance? Is Lance from another one? Use that if it comes for you. His big head should be an easy target. Don't worry. It'll be justified self-defense. No tabloid stardom for you. If anyone, it'll be me. It'll be me. 
I suggest you come up with a quip for the press. The detective ordered me to, say. Or are you more accustomed to be in the press? Well, L.K. Back in the room. You should follow their example instead of picking a fight with me. Okay, and they brought us back here. Tell you what, though, I want to cheat. We're gonna put. Oh, we're gonna save the game right now. Oh, wait, what is that room? Ah. All right. So the boogie. We've already done this, so we might as well do it again. I don't know what it does exactly, but... There's a loud noise somewhere. Alright, so there's a loud noise somewhere. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, was this open before? Can't reach the hole in the wall. I still haven't figured out about the videotape either. So yes, last time I was quite annoyed at this game. Okay, progress. What the hell is this? Uh, a painting of a woman holding a severed head. There's a placard underneath. Ah, Joe Conan, I kissed your lips. They had such a bitter taste. Was it the taste of blood? No, it must be the taste of love. As everyone says, love is bitter. Huh. What is this? Seems to be a real guillotine. The edge is rusty, though. Dude, disassemble it. Why would I leave that here? I would smash it to pieces. I'm going to save again. Aha! I read about an electrified floor. It looks like a control panel is locked. There's a heart symbol on the cover. Seriously? Large iron door. It's locked and won't open. What the hell is that? Pressing the buttons doesn't do anything. A saw hangs on the... Okay, we got a saw. What's this? A sledgehammer. A sledgehammer and a saw. All right. See, I read about these. Breaking the door down with the hammer would destroy the control panel inside, too. Nothing. All right, I don't think that I can cross the floor without dying. So, we're going to head back. I have heard there is some kind of uh, Oh, damn it. I hate when they do this. And it throws me off, too. Uh, we got to go back this way. The room with the knights, there's something that has to be done with the... F there's a picture in there that you have to look at, I think. Ugh. But I couldn't go in there with what's-his-face. Can't go that way. Can't go that way.
Let's save the game. Let's try to figure our way through this. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ha! Three crossed swords. Hmm. They read something about this, I don't remember what it was. There's a spot where three of them are really. Hold on, if I leave, will that guy go back where he was supposed to go? No, he's still there. That's permanent. Okay. Hmm. So there's a there was a spot where if you were There's a spot somewhere in the room. That ain't it. That is not the spot. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, I'm here. We well, have to move that guy. No, we're close enough together. I'm not sure where this this place this spot is. Oh, that's it right there. Maybe. Ho oh ho. See, I would have had no idea to do this if I hadn't read up, read it up. There's something in the broken stone. A bit key. Okay, what the hell does a bit key go to? Which door is still locked? I mean, there's a lot of them, I think. Not this room. That's got nothing in it for me. Let's save the game again. Where are we time-wise? 13 minutes. I guess we're gonna have to stop there. So we uh, we've done we've made some progress. I don't know what the hell the big key is, but we're gonna probably stop here. I'm lost. This place is a damn maze, so I have no idea. Wait a minute. Let's do one more thing. There's graffiti on the boogeyman statue's face. Looks closely. There's something deep in its mouth. Now you had to look at that picture before. Uh oh. What happened? There's something sharp inside the mouth so you can't get it all the way to the back. Doggone it. Um. There, screw you. Stupid statue. Something came out of the decapitated statue's head. A key with the heart cheek keychain. Alright, that's what we need. That's what we need. We have to go all the way back up to the top. So we're gonna run to the top. Wait, wait, how did I? I'm so confused, I'm so lost. This place is, uh, no, not this way. Uh, I wanna get to where we have to, where we'll start next time with the, the key. Um, yeah, no, screw it, I'll, I'll find my way there. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to you all next time.